Good morning, Group Viewers. Welcome. Today is September 22nd. The year is 2010, and the National Bureau of Economic Research, NBER, officially declared this week that the worst recession since the Great Depression was over as of June of last year. At the same time, however, the NBER warned that declining momentum of recovery puts the U.S. economy at risk of retreating right into another recession. In fact, this recovery has been the most anemic on record. Real final sales, real GDP minus uh, changes in private inventories, uh, measuring the final consumption demand from consumers and businesses only expanded at an average of 0.9% from the third quarter of 2009 through to this quarter, second quarter of uh, 2010 in terms of sequential quarterly growth. That's in stark contrast to the above growth rate immediately following previous recessions of better than 4%. Thus, although the country is officially out of recession, it certainly doesn't feel like much of a difference. Indeed, taking the pulse of consumers who play a large role in the economy, Americans aren't rejoicing, as economist David Rosenberg pointed out this week. Uh, latest measurement of the, the University of Michigan Reuters uh, Consumer Sentiment Index, which hit a one-year low last week uh, shows that consumers are feeling more pessimistic than during the than during a typical recession, and certainly nowhere near typical levels when the economy is expanding. Government stimulus and company inventory restocking can only provide a temporary boost. As we've seen, it is imperative for consumer spending to step up to the plate in order for the recovery to have lasting power. Unfortunately, with the job and housing market still struggling and little household income growth, that's just not a likely scenario now. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow.